Okay, boys and girls, I need you to sit up nice and straight. Crisscross applesauce. I'm going to share something with you, and this is called a book talk, meaning I'm not going to necessarily read this book to you, but I'm going to share some information and tell you about the book, Caleb, in hopes that you will want to read it. This book is titled Officer Buckle and Glory. If you look on the cover, you see a picture of uh, Jordan. A policeman. Policeman, McKinley. Dog and audience. Dog and the audience. Okay, hands down. All right. This book, I chose this book, Officer Buckle and Glory, which is by Peggy Rothman, for two reasons. Because it's a Caldecott book meaning it's known and it was chosen that given that award because of the very nice rich colorful pictures in here throughout the, the book they're bright they're colorful the second reason is because i used to read this book to my daughter when she was little and i always keep this book in my kindergarten classroom library because children your age like to hear about it and they like to read it so listen up as i tell you some nice things about this book let's call for nancy's italian eye okay officer buckle and gloria this book starts out with officer buckle going out to the schools talking to the children about safety tips by himself Meaning, he would go to the schools, and his audience would be the students, and he would actually tell them things to do, not to do, to be safe. For example, he would tell them, don't stand up in a chair that swivels because it's not stable. If I stand on this chair, it's going to twirl around, and I'm going to have an accident and fall. So this is basically what he did. But... The thing about it, when Mr. Officer Buckle went out by himself to the school to talk to the students, they were bored. They would sleep. They wouldn't pay attention. I mean, it was awful. So then they decided to send out Gloria, who was a dog. They sent Gloria out with him out to the school, and still the audience, the audience would be the students, and Gloria, the dog, would be behind him, and he would stand up front, and he would give all these safety tips, how to be safe, things not to do so you won't fall and hurt yourself. And what he didn't know was everything that he was saying and the tips he was giving Gloria was behind him demonstrating what he was saying. Meaning he, the dog was doing what? Acting it out. He was acting, he was acting it out. Whatever Officer Buckle said. For example, if he said, sit up nice and straight, Gloria would do just that. So then the students and the audience, they enjoyed that. Now they were awake and enjoying listening to Officer Buckle. But I think what happened was Officer Buckle started to get jealous because the student, he felt like he wasn't getting all of the attention and Gloria was. So he didn't want to go out anymore. But one day he got this beautiful thank you note from one of the girls. And she was telling him how much she enjoyed him and Gloria. So then he decided he wanted to go start doing it again and go out with Gloria. Because he and Gloria were a team. team. They were a team. They worked together. Okay? So he, as a result, they started going back out to the schools, having, having these little uh, safety talks with the, school, the students. And they weren't born anymore. They actually loved them, and Officer Buckle enjoyed it. He enjoyed being a team with Gloria, the dog. Okay? 
So, that was my book talk. I gave you some information. I told you how I love the book, how I was connected with the book, and it's going to be in my classroom over there on the bookshelf in the library. And I know if there's some words in here that you don't know, you can always sound them out. To sound them out means you do what? Blend. Blend those consonant and vowels together. A lot of the words in here are your sight words, okay? So, thank you. And I give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my book talk. And if you think you want to read Officer Buckle and Gloria. Okay. Okay, I think it recorded. Yes. Great. Okay, you can go back to your seat and finish your snack.